Mr. Speaker, sir, I thank you. And uh, I also rise to support the motion of establishing a select committee to be able to hear the matter of impeaching the governor of Kiambu. Mr. Speaker, sir, it's very interesting what we are witnessing. And I would like to request the honorable members, the distinguished senators from the majority side, just to be able to listen, because Kenya is watching. And like my colleagues had stated earlier, impeachment, there's someone's life is on the line. And Mr. Speaker, sir, it, we will have an opportunity to determine whether to approve this motion or not to approve. Mr. Speaker, sir, earlier on, I personally felt that it was necessary to have this in plenary, but I was convinced otherwise. And Mr. Speaker, sir, I would like to request that when a senator is speaking on this matter, since this is a matter which is very emotive, to be given an opportunity to, to express themselves. There's really no point of us gagging anybody who wants to express their views. At the end of the day, we'll be able to express our views through the vote. Mr. Speaker, sir, standing orders are very, very clear. If you look at standing order number 75, number 76, earlier on, Mr. Speaker, sir, I was listening to the submission made by Senator Moura. And in my view, I felt that the, some of those could be prejudicial. And I think for us today, we're not here to determine the merits of the impeachment process. We are here to approve. Either we adopt a select committee or we do it by plenary. If we vote, because the motion which is there right now, Mr. Speaker, sir. Mr. Speaker, sir, please protect me or we just... Order members. Order, 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 order. Order. Order members. Senator Ledama, continue. All the members, take, take your seats. Mr. Speaker, sir, this is a very emotive matter. My views, you know, my time is being interrupted by a lot of uh, consultation. So my point is very clear. I just want to appeal to the members who have been elected, or rather who have been proposed to serve in this select committee. I just want to give them a piece of advice. Integrity is not both. You either have it or you don't. This is a very important task. If this House approves you to serve in that committee, to be able to determine the matter of impeaching Governor Waitito, please do so through integrity. Don't allow anything else to be able to, um, to confuse you during the process. Please preserve the integrity of this House. The issues of Jubilee and the issue of independent candidate or member of the Senate or Kanu, the majority side can be able to resolve that on their own. As far as we are concerned here, Mr. Speaker, sir, this is the house of reason. And please, let us prove to the 47 million Kenyans that we stand for fiduciary responsibility and not personal interest or political party's interest. I